Hey guys, Dave with Moneyology here. Hope everyone is having a great day. Today is Monday, February 19th, 2018. President's Day here in the USA. So I uh, wanted to go over a part six of our biotech sector stock review where we go through some of the names in our watch list that are worth keeping an eye on, owning, or potentially uh, buying in the not too distant future. So let's take a look at the names that are prominent on our watch list today. So starting with Keto Pharma, KTOV. This one is looking very good right now. It's consolidating here above that 50 on the weekly RSI, and it's uh, it had a nice hammer pattern, um, bounced bounced off the middle Bollinger Band as well as the 50 uh, week moving average, and it looks ready to break higher. So for us, we're not long uh, any of these names, but we would consider um, going along this particular name if it were to break. Uh, above three dollars. That's when it breaks three dollars. That that likely means shares are headed towards that six to seven level. But we like the consolidation in this. If you do your due diligence, fundamentally, this could be a very good name to own uh, going forward. Uh, Nat K West N K. This one had uh, we called this breakout uh, earlier in 2017 around here, and we had a very nice run, uh, but consolidated and then kind of corrected down all the way down to 365 uh, but it's starting to show some signs of life here so you want to keep an eye on this one above five dollars if this can break above five dollars then potentially this can rise back above 750 and back to 10 so keep this on one on your radar as well uh, evil fam biosciences evfm this is one that had a merger with uh, with another company so uh, so this is kind of relatively new publicly traded stock but bottom line is it had a pullback um, here and um, and and now what we're seeing we're below the middle Bollinger Band below the 50 week moving average and below um, zero on the in the weekly MACDs however um, just keep an eye on this particular um, resistance here um, this 50 level because right here was the point where we really flew uh, right right around here in October so this is going to serve as support on the RSI and, and we may have already found um, uh, support here and if, if we can break back above 50 this will be your sign it likely coincides with the break above the middle uh, Bollinger Band as well as the 50 week moving average as this as though this correction is over and this wants to move higher if this can break above 10 this can run towards 15 and possibly as high as 35 to 40 uh, thereafter so there's a lot of explosive uh, upside potential here but as far as we're concerned right now, we're still in downtrend. Could go as low as five, but keep an eye on this particular support and this particular resistance level. Neural stem, C U R. This one looks actually very, very good. It's uh, it based here for six months. It had a massive move. Got rejected by the 50-week moving average, kind of consolidating in this uh, bullish uh, pennant formation, and uh, now it's starting to find some legs here. Not coincidentally, it's finding legs precisely. If you go down right over here, this is where we had the massive move, and when we broke out above this 38 to 40 level on RSI, this is when the move happened. Now we retraced that move all the way back, and we found support right at that RSI level. So no surprise that we found support there. The question is what happens next yeah this likely makes a run towards three dollars in the not too distant future but the the bigger move is what happens if if it breaks three and that's where we want to buy as longer term swing swing traders and investors this is the area that you want to see break to the upside for a move towards five possibly uh, a renewed uptrend so keep an eye on this one Northwest Biotherapeutics NWBO. This is one that we've been pointing out for a while. Uh, it had this major breakout from this major downtrend here uh, back in July of 17. We consolidated down and it was pretty nasty. We got stopped out ourselves right here. Uh, but it got pretty nasty. But once these breaks breakouts happen, it's not it's not uh, uh, clear sailing. But what ha typically happens, it breaks, it consolidates. Sometimes it even goes lower for a little bit. But what you want to see is continued RSI momentum being built. That's the key. Price is not as important as momentum. And sure enough, we finally broke higher, uh, consolidated. 
uh, above that middle Bollinger Band broke higher. Now we're below the 50. We're consolidating above that 61 level, above this resistance zone. So this one looks really, really good. It looks like it wants to make a run towards 50. If it breaks that, uh, it can, this can go towards a dollar, possibly two dollars. So there's a lot of upside for Northwest Bio. Novavax NVAX, another name that we've owned in and out, and this has done really well uh, over the last several weeks. It's it's had this rounded base here, and now it's at multi-year highs on the MACDs. Uh, it's being accumulated. Uh, it's it's money flow is moving in the positive direction. It broke out above that two level that we were talking about. This likely makes a run towards the 200 weekly moving average at 345, and then and then likely. Um, find some resistance, but this can go much higher. Eight dollars uh, is is not outside the realm of possibility on this one, so we really like this chart here. Uh, Omni Health O M H E. This is one actually that we do own a little bit of and intend to accumulate more of. This one has had a very nice run from 0 0.0087 all the way to four and a half here, uh, and it's consolidated back to about two cents and. Um, it's finding support right at this point where it broke out of initially right here. This is that level that you want to watch and it's finding support there and if this can break back above 50 this will be your trigger to buy. Now we're still uh, probably a couple weeks away from that trigger but you definitely want to be cognizant of um, some support being found here and then and then breaking higher. We think this ultimately goes above 10 cents at some point this year. On Colix, another name that we've dabbled in, ONCX, another OTC name uh, that you might want to take a look at. It's it's basically been uh, had a massive move from 0 0.007 all the way to 19 and a half. It's got some really interesting technology if you do the due diligence. Um, technically, it broke out here and then it's just been consolidating and and frankly breaking down here. However. Um, every time it seems to hit this three to four cent level, it's finding support. Look at all these um, hammer patterns, and 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 it seems to me like it's starting to really um, consolidate here and and wants to break higher. So you just want to see that confirmation uh, on on the on on the RSI start ticking up here. But if this can break above five on a weekly closing basis above that middle Bollinger Band, this can really run. And as as far as um, some fundamental news, this. This looks like they're uh, on the verge of releasing some uh, PR, so keep an eye on this one. A couple more here. Oncosec Medical, ONCS, one that broke out like Nan, Nan, uh, Northwest Bio from a major downtrend, had a massive move uh, from 90 cents all the way to 295. We've consolidated a bit, but we've consolidated above the, the, the weekly 50 moving average. Uh, we're now above the middle Bollinger Band. And and mo most importantly, we we found support at that 50 RSI level, which served as resistance many times here in the past. And we found support here, and and now it looks like it wants to move higher. So if this can break above two. This is a buy uh, with a target just around that four level um, on ONCS. Finally, Opgen OPGN. You know, this is one that I just wanted to look at because it's it's caused a lot of pain both to uh, to ourselves but also to a lot of investors. Uh, they've got some interesting technology, but the stock keeps going down. They release pretty pretty interesting and good news. Stock keeps going down. So what's happening here? Um, I I honestly don't know. But what I what I do want to point out is that it's still showing some positive RSI. Um, on on this particular chart, as though momentum just wants to move higher, and stock and stock is still being shorted. So at some point, uh, if this can break back above three dollars here, uh, this can really take off really quickly because it's a low float stock and it's got a lot of short interest. So keep an eye on this one. If it breaks above three, this can make a run towards five, possibly ten dollars in no time. But uh, um, anyway, just wanted to profile what I see. I like that that momentum being built um, consistently despite price drop. I think that represents a very interesting long-term trade opportunity. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Those of you new to our videos, please check out our page at patreon.com forward slash moneyology. Of course, you can find us on stock twits at moneyology and Twitter as well at moneyology. We appreciate all your support. Good luck trading. Take care.